Welcome to Daily Armor. Today we're going to be in Psalms 37, verse number 7. I really love Psalms 37. It's one of those Psalms that I have referred back to in times of anxiety, in times of distress. Um, and I'm reverting back to it, but I'm realizing that I'm not in a state of panic. I'm not in a state of distress. I'm not overly anxious, but what I would call it would be curious. Um, when you um, receive news and everything in your life may have just changed in one day, everything. Um, not sure, but very curious. But what I'm finding is I'm not worried. I'm not panicked. I'm not fretting. I am resting. Verse number seven. Let's look at verse number seven um, of chapter 37. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. So, when things change, when things are just completely out of your control, when you're just, you know, you know, something has taken place that just catches you off guard, but then you realize you're not thrown off guard. You are actually okay. Um, and not that every moment will be okay, but that you're okay. And... It's because of things in the past. It's because of patterns in the past that we have seen God be faithful time and time and time again. And so there's no reason to doubt him now. There's no reason to panic now. There's no reason to fret now. But to simply wait and see and anticipate and rest in it um, and know that uh, all of these things that maybe that are changing and, and maybe not. I mean, it's, you know, just because something looks one way um, doesn't mean that God isn't going to do by miracle something else. And um, but when you have those things that change and, you know, you were just, you know, you're just, um, you know, you weren't you weren't expecting it, but you were prepared for it. There's a difference. Um, when we have, um, let's say, for instance, in the budget, when an emergency comes up, um, you know, we have some emergency budget to to help fill that gap, to help meet that need. Um, and it, what it happens is that it causes you not to panic when stuff comes up because, gosh, stuff comes up all the time. Um, and we, you know, we've definitely had one of those big years of stuff coming up and, and, you know, it may not be over, you know, it's, it's, you know, August and it may not be over, but every single step of the way, God has been faithful and has helped us and has intervened and has provided. And even, you know, even though we've had some good emergency fund already set aside, God even took us through some things that we didn't even have enough to be sufficient. And, you know, we weren't prepared for, you know, a well collapse and a roof and, you know, all these other things that went along with all of that. But God was. And so now that, you know, some things this morning are a little different, maybe. We don't, I'm not really sure. Um, some things are different that I'm, I'm not panicked. Um, and even when we had the roof and the the well collapse and everything this past winter, um, January, February was just full of just, gosh, one thing after another um, that we didn't panic then. And, you know, we were, you know, looking back, um, you know, we were, it was, it was definitely uncomfortable and it was definitely, um, uh, I would say inconvenient because I was, you know, going to my daughter's, um, you know, getting water from there, um, getting water, you know, from town, um, going to take a shower, washing laundry at Kinsley's, uh, you know, and so it was inconvenient, but there was no panic involved. There was no fretting involved. And I look back and I'm like a few years ago, I would have been fretting. I would have been panicking. I would have been, you know, 
um, distraught. And that's why I know Psalms 37, because it begins with, Fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. The gist of it is fret not. And then verse number three, trust in the Lord. Verse number four, delight thyself also in the Lord. Verse number five, commit thy way into the Lord. And verse number six, and he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light and as and thy judgment as the noonday. Seven, rest in the Lord. I'm resting in him. And if something has changed in your life, rest in him. Go back and look at the, what he tells us to do. Don't be fretting about it. Don't be panicked. Don't be, you know, don't be running around like a crazy person, like you're not, um, like you're, you're insecure, like you're not safe, like, you know, you should be in panic mode. No, he says, fret not. And he says, trust him, not me, not the circumstances, not the resources, not even my emergency fund. I don't trust in my emergency fund. I feel like it's responsible to have one, but I'm not trusting in that because, you know, it wasn't even sufficient. And I had a very good amount of mercy fund that Todd and I had built up and we were, you know, saving for that, you know, what if something major happens and then we had a lot of major stuff happen and it wasn't even sufficient. But you know what? God is. When our trust was not truly in our mercy fund. That's the responsible thing to do. But the safe thing for me is trusting in him, delighting myself in him, committing myself to him, committing what he's told us not to do. He told us not to go back into debt. And therefore, we didn't panic when the roof was flying off and though you could actually see down into our roof um, because our ridge cap um, shingles, whatever that's called, all of that was had come loose and it, you know, it was just a mess. And then and the well collapsed. All of it was happening all at the same time. And it looked like that we were going to have to, you know, um, for the difference between what we had in savings that we weren't, it wasn't going to be sufficient. And yet... God said, commit yourself to what I've told you to do or not to do. And the year before, the what he told us not to do was to not go into debt. No Debt was no longer a remedy. Debt was no longer an issue. Debt was no longer that thing that we would go to. And so um, whenever we come to that, crossroads whenever that are you know are a pretty good size savings didn't cover all of these huge expenses they were beyond our ability it was trusting and delighting in him and com and staying committed staying committed and I was really worried that this would be something that Todd would um you know would say well, we don't have any other choice because that was something that he would say in in years past well I don't have any other choice uh, he didn't say that. He said, you know what? He said, if we have to put a tarp on the house, he said, that's what we're going to do. He said, if we have to run water hoses from Colby's house, that, uh, you know, that's what we're going to do. Um, and we're just going to trust the Lord to take care of it. And, and, and that's exactly what the Lord did. The Lord took care of it. Um, I mean, he absolutely took care of it. And, you know, now that we're, you know, another, you know, something is, is, looks like it's come up and we're just not sure. Looks like it's another time where we're okay. You know, we're not fretting. We're not panicking. We're trusting you, Lord. We're delighting in you, Lord. We're staying committed to what you say and what you want and that you are sufficient. It is amazing how when you go through something where he is all you've got, you absolutely experience that he is all you need. And so, you know, this, another issue has come up and, or it looks like it's come up, not sure. I mean, it may be all worked out by the end of the day. I don't know. Um, but it's looking like, you know, a change is taking place and um, I'm resting. I'm not panicked. I'm resting and wait and I'm waiting patiently. I'm not waiting, pacing the floor. I'm not waiting, you know, oh my goodness, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? I'm not waiting in a anxious mode. I am waiting patiently. Means I'm resting. Means I am anticipating. Lord, you know, what are you going to do in this situation, Lord? This is different. You know, 
what are you going to do here? And, and I'm excited to, to see what happens. And I don't know. And, you know, I don't know, but he does. And therefore, I rest and I don't panic. And so when things like that happen for you, go back to the scriptures, hold on to those things. Do what he says in his word. He tells us to fret not. He tells us to trust in the Lord. He tells us to delight in him and commit ourselves to his way, his way. And that means for us to rest and wait patiently for him. And that's what I'm doing today. And I hope that's what you're doing. Thank you for joining me. I look forward to seeing you again soon.